and to your mama, beautiful sounds of uh, Jennifer Lopez. What an amazing song opening up our show today. I'm so glad that you are part of it. Well, what an amazing day. Every Thursday more is here to give you the best in love, love music, I mean, latest jams. What can I say? Country music, because that's where our roots are, most especially in this show. It's heartbeat, and thank you so much for joining us. You might have... You, you might have just um, back home, you've just come back home, others are still traveling back home, well, safe journey, but I hope you make it to the show, I'll be more than glad. And those already at home try to tell your friend, then your friend tell your friend that the show has started. I'm so glad that you people are watching right about now. It's a live show that opens up to you people, you might have been through any small problems here and there, and you feel like you want to actually share it with the people who are watching the show. You feel you uh, put your squeeze onto the wall and you don't have anyone to actually talk to. This is a show for you, you write, just write to us a letter and then forward it to us either on our WhatsApp number, probably you can also use our Facebook page. I'll be more than glad. I'll receive that letter, make sure you be as brief as possible. Then I'll communicate to you when to read that letter. And then if you're happy, you're doing well in your relationship, you want to share it with us. I mean, <laughs> you don't feel any problem sharing those lighter moments in your relationship. You can also do the same. You either invite us on those small, small parties that you do throw up, probably birthday parties, engagement, bridal shower, baby shower, because these are parties that contribute a lot to these relationships to actually sustain or probably keep them going. But at times we do not look at them. We overlook at them and then they are like a past. But for us, we recognize them on our show. And if you have any of those shows, you make sure you drop your invite here uh, at our reception, Record TV. We are just opposite Club Silk, First Street, Ginger Road. Well, we have a letter today and there's this beautiful lady who has a small problem. She actually wants you to to engage into her problem and try to find out where the problem comes from and how best can she deal with it because you might have gone through the same problem or you feel like yes you can give a proper proper advice that she can actually apply and have the best of her marriage or relationship well you're the right person that we need on this show we are mediocre to people that can help such such people or victims but again, don't lack behind. Make sure you contribute on our topics of discussion. The later, try to advise those people. They are so much inquisitive to actually know and get to find out which kind of um, advice you, you would give them and they sort out the, the problem. Right about now, I don't want to delay. I want to take you to the letter of today. And I want you to give it your ears and probably your eyes to be watching. And later on, you'll give us um, an opinion or advice on how she can go about this later. Let's take this later, let's listen to it, and later we shall come back and dwell more about it. But again, I also have amazing visitors in studio that will be joining me later on. Just keep it record. I recently came back home from an out-of-town trip and found a personal item belonging to a close friend in my bathroom. When I cautioned my husband, he said he found it on the floor. When I cautioned how it ended up on my bathroom floor later in the day, he said he found it under the couch and put it in his pocket. He then took it out of his pocket and left it on the table in my bathroom. While the story might be possible, I find it suspicious. This person has not been to my home for three consecutive weeks. A few years ago, I learned that this friend of mine and my husband were having an emotional relationship, although it did not progress to a physical one. I needed immediate counseling to save my marriage, so I dragged my husband up to the counselor. After therapy, 
my husband and I continued with our marriage and we went ahead to get together again as a couple. However, I wasn't contented. I am now heartbroken. I don't want to end my marriage, but I don't want to be with my husband if he's lying and cheating. Since this is also a very close girlfriend, I am deeply hurt by her actions. I don't want to end my marriage on suspicions because I have no tangible proof to pin my husband. I just don't know what to do at this point. Heartbeat fans, how best can you advise me? This is Stella from Mutundwe. Stella. Stella is crying out loud to you people who are watching this show. Please, how can you help her? The story goes, you know, she has been married, however much she wasn't open to tell us how many or how long has she been engaged to this husband of hers. But she got out of town and left the husband behind for a trip, which I don't know whether it was a study trip, work trip, or something of the sort, but she was up country, away from home, for a couple of days. I can't say months, there were days. And then suddenly she came back and found a piece of cloth that belongs to her close friend in her bathroom. She tried to engage the husband. They sat down and she was like, please, how did this cloth come into my bedroom? Probably my bedroom, even my bathroom. The bathroom is in the bedroom. And then the guy was like, the husband, but me, I found the cloth, it was under the couch. Then I picked it, put it in my pocket, and took it up in your bathroom but on the table, for safety. That's what he says. But Stella goes ahead and tells us that um, she, has, she, has not been, she has not been seeing this friend of hers for three consecutive weeks. So she keeps on asking herself, how did she come at home, moreover in her absence, yet she had spent three weeks without coming home, however much they are friends. And then the guy was like, I also found this cloth in, in the house, I mean, it doesn't mean that the, your friend has been here when you are away. So she felt so disappointed, betrayed, kind of. But the guy was like, you know, I just found this cloth in, in, in the sitting room uh, under the couch. But again, the problem is how, how did this cloth come into the house? But again, Stella goes ahead and says, yes, there might be suspicions. The story might be true, but at the same time, um, I feel like there's something lacking into his explanation. So she immediately went to a counselor to seek some guidance, advice, and stuff with the husband. Ever much, it was a tug of war to drag the husband to the counselor. But eventually, she won, and they went together. So coming back, they reunited and kind of, but... She remained with this greed, the ego of being betrayed. You know, she had a feel that probably um, my husband cheated on me with my close friend. You know, it's sad. But again, she says, I don't want to end this marriage. I love my husband. But again, I don't want to have this feel that he's the kind of husband who really cheats on me and lies so much. This is a marriage that we are involved, two of us. We don't need a third party in, and that's the friend. But again, I don't have like tangible proof to pin my husband that probably he slept with my close friend. How best can I address this? I mean, how am I going to get over this? Because I feel betrayed, it keeps on haunting me. I don't know how to leave this marriage because I feel I'm living in an in, in untrustworthy marriage. I mean, I feel lots of things, but again, I don't want to end my marriage just like that because the story seemed to be suspicious. But again, in, in its suspicions, it feels like, yes, it might have happened however much. I don't have tangible proof. So she's crying out loud to the viewer out there who is watching the show. How would you advise her? How best can she go about this relationship, this marriage? She feels betrayed. She, you know, there's nothing like trust now at home. Yes, they might have reunited, but she still has ego and she feels betrayed. She might not do the correct or things that she's supposed to do as a married woman just because she feels her husband is cheating on her. So how best can you advise Stella? How can she go about her marriage? Ever much she says she doesn't want to leave the marriage, but 
Neither does she want to stay with a man, a man who cheats and lies in marriage, because this is what she never expected. She didn't expect such things, and they were not there. But again, there's someone she mentioned that, yes, this friend of mine had an emotional relationship with my husband some time back, but good enough, it didn't go physical. I mean, maybe they had a crush, and she was watching them, but again, she might have gotten closer to the husband to kind of <laughs> obstruct him from going with a close friend and things like that. So you base your opinion on our story for today. And this is where we created our topic of discussion. We are asking, would deception kind of threaten to destroy marriage? And if it is yes, how best can we deal with it? Would deception threaten to destroy marriages? And how best can we deal with it if it is yes? So base all your opinions on either the topic or the letter for today. We are going to take a short break. That will be a musical break. But again, um, we shall have to come back and drill more about a topic of discussion. And then we shall discuss more about the letter while giving advice to Stella. Our WhatsApp number is 0758-44-8577. I beg your pardon. 0758-44-8577. Send your opinion, your advice, anything, suggestions. They'll be more than welcome. Or you can go on our Facebook page. Our topic is already posted there. If you have anything to say about it, comment with appropriate <laughs> comments amazing comments and i'll be reading them live on the show when we come back we're going to have an amazing song coming in from danny and shy it's a beautiful one going out to you people who are watching the show we shall also take a short break just short and then later we shall have a song that will usher us back to the show while we are going to drill more into the letter i'll have two amazing visitors in studio with me and I just I want you to just keep it there because we're going to have lots of fun. Keep it record. Welcome back. It's a beautiful sounds of um, Pat Bull and uh, Enrique Ignatius. What an amazing song, Messing Around, dedicated to you who is watching the show. It's Heartbeat, and I'm glad that you've joined us. In case you've just joined the show, you're watching Heartbeat, and our topic of discussion is would deception, would deception threaten to destroy marriages? And if it is yes, how best can we deal with it so that it cannot destroy yours who is watching the show there? But again, also, um, our letter today, still to remind you briefly, for those that have just joined us, we are looking at Stella, who lives in Mutunde, trying to complain about something small in her marriage. She left her marriage for a trip, which didn't take so long. Then on her coming back, she found a piece of cloth in her bathroom. Bathroom that's upstairs in her bedroom, which belongs to her close friend, yet she just left the husband behind. And now she tried to caution the husband how it came, it came, came about. The husband tried to explain that I found it on the couch, then picked it and took it to your bathroom because I believe that it could be actually safer if it is that, that way. 
And then Stella could not believe, she feels betrayed, maybe the man is cheating on, on him, I mean on her. So she's kind of, she told us that this is a friend who left, who has not been around for three consecutive weeks. And she's asking herself, why has it happened in my absence? Why did this lady come to my house when I'm not around, if it is true? And then she says, yes, it might be like that, suspicions. But again, I feel like it is, I'm basing my story on two suspicions. It might not be true. And she doesn't want to leave her marriage, but again, she does not want to continue with this kind of marriage whereby there's too much lying and cheating. She doesn't know what to do. She's asking the viewer who is watching the show, what can she do about her marriage? Is it best to just stop the marriage here but because she has lost trust? She feels she's cheated, <laughs> disappointed, lots of things. There are so, so many. And you out there, you can actually send your message on our WhatsApp number 758 44 giving your opinion or advice to Stella, or probably contribute on a topic of discussion. You can as well use our Facebook page, Record TV Heartbeat. Well, at this moment, I have amazing people in studio with me. They are smartly dressed. On my left-hand side, I have an amazing person who is um, a CEO of Ibu Promotions. He's a PR and um, a marketing manager of Brenda Beauty World. He's a director of AL Magic Films. He's an editor and a producer on Record TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me, the one and only in studio on my left-hand side, Ibra Miro. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. When you did that. Thank you for introducing me to all those ranks. Yeah. But I've taken long without uh, being hosted on TV. Okay. So, so uh, I can get you a new job. My application is here too. Can I hear? Yeah, I'm here. Good evening, viewers. Um, Miro Ibrahim, just like she has said. Langs is on us, okay? There's no need to maybe. Anyway, I'm introducing another person on my right hand side. Is an amazing comedian on introductions and uh, weddings. Is an editor and producer on Record TV. Actually, they are my workmates. Is a father of two amazing kids, a son and a daughter. Married to a beautiful wife. He's yet to tell us the names. I'm actually not certain with the names of the wife. And he lives in Kagoma. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me. Jonathan Lombuye. Where are you going to show Mkwan? Where are you going to show Mkwan? Where are you going to show Mkwan? I mean, I'm going to show you Mkwan. 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 Kubanga te kubaga nyiro onzo kumura mwa. Mm, kubi nti biya la wevi yo. Abitege la bulunja te. Noro icho tova ko sigara ko ate odi bitu tesiza. Tuwe yanza tuwe yanzi. Msi ya mwagezi bulunji. Oyo gira ni kumikolo. Oba che chodu bini wakola. Mm, njo gira. Mm. Ida banji kubanda weyo. Mm, bama nchi che yanko na basi gade mwagenda chika kasiza wana. Okay, what is the clue there, no? Um, I'm a mirror. Talk a lot of video called biography. I'm a toilet say, yo, Muchalao, uh, Bamita Batia, Nejali, Nedil to what Subi and Bag. Yes, I'm mm. a Nia Dagi Bagaba Gambia. Muchala, as in girlfriend or wife to be, but what you get away to check at you in the regular and go by that. Yes, I've just uh, got engaged. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. 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 
mucharo yi nabo majakirini mm mucharo yi nabo majakirini tubade for five 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 tuta tamza mwaka gwa mukaga mm ngatwili ngatwela ba ngatwili ba mukwano just recently mm when namu sabiye okunfungirwa mm proposal will you marry me Aha. I just said that we Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you're still watching Heartbeat Show. It's an amazing love show. Nga wemba gami nchazi zaba ntubabili wano mnyomba. Eira ndi msanyi fokubanga banega seko. We are going back to Stella's letter. We are trying to find a way of how we can help Stella. I mean, there's so many things we can do. Probably even mere words. Ebi gamba ebi okuogere, ebi okumugamba. Nantandika ni mwami um, lumbuye. Chicho inzo kugamba Stella. Nga wawuli deba luwai. Mm, Ebika wakia Stella, bie unisa. Nira nga embira kutambu ila mwasimo no. Kwa ata gana novo fumbo vano mkwano. Bikuli tile ibibuzo binji vyo kwebuza. Nti Stella ya sango rugoye mchinawilo. Mkusangu nguwe mchinavilo, mm. wali wa mkwano nguwe. Mm. Nga, mkwano, mkwano guonu, ama ziba nga, nga tamulaba. Nga tamulaba, ama ziba wiki sisatu. Nga tamulaba, ama ziba wiki sisatu. Nga tamulaba, ama ziba wiki sisatu. Nga genda kufao. Nga genda kufao, inaja, yabadea ya murumbe. Ya lia genze kutrip yeo, yeo murimu. Ya lia genze kutrip, ya. Mm. Agenda kufuda na sanga, uruguwe mchinavilo. Ah, Echigambo cha stela, chikuwa tagana bulu unji nyo, no umula mwa. Mm. Oh, go you get the cover uh, deception. Eh, okuli mba maka. Mba maka. Mm. Over a mazima. Nze, a mazima yuda matufu. Ah, uh, ate yuda siga wagina. Mm. Nate kusaidi yu ufumbu, yu mkwano. Wakili olimba. Mm, wakili olimba mkwano. Otaso ufumbu. Otaso ufumbu. Karicho gambo mwami wea ya mulimba. Nti yoru goe talumanyi yuko ya lusanga umu untebe. Mm. O mwami we. Nzi chingamba, te ya mwuri imba. Hmm. Lua chingamba, te ya mwuri imba. Hmm. Nti, oliolu goe ya wisanga, ya gamba lwa mkwano goe. Hmm. Umwami ya gamba, te oliolu goe, mkwano goe, ya... Mkwano goe, ya lulese. Hmm, te ya kilizambu ya jao. Te ya kilizambu ya jao. Na yembu ya, ya lusanga <coughs> muntebe, na alu jao, alu tereke. Tutunulile wiki sizirie mabege sato. Hmm. Zia kuma ukulaba, uh, mkwano, mkwano, stela jia kuma ukulaba mkwano goe. Yes. Uh, Bichie li aliwo. Mkwano gwa stelo no ya linga jie waka okuchusi za wengo ye, eche chimu. Mm. Mkwano gwa stela, ya lia kuma, mkwano gwa liku kuma kustela ya ka, ya lina vya lia ataba ya wakati wa ababi ya wa. Mm -hmm. Mkwano gwa gwa stela, tetu waka la tukutunulile ku, mtugameti, orugoye mkulule kao, guina vya stela vya hiko vya alo oza. Tulifena, mm. nti, omwami kia gamba stela nti, Orugwe yunu na ulisanze mwonte venzi ngambi mwami ya ndivo mtufu. Mm. Kubanga ayugira mazima. Kubanga uliya mazima wiki sibili. Tala wa stela. Tala wa stela wa kati. Ibra. Okiri zanti orugwe yunu na ulisanga mwonte venzi. Wajane mpeo. Wajane mpeo. Orugwe yunu. Eee. Ipisa ipisi inga. Omukwa anu chichi nitu echizi wenyo. Ovate echi nitu echa wenyo. Mkwano ugo, mseri visi nga, tuinanga wagambi nti, tuina wangu tuino kugelea mazima ni utaina kwa lachi. Kugelea. Fafa sajia katonda ya tukola, mngeri enja ulu na hawa chala, chitegela. Ties, katumewe chuchibela hui ya dinayo ngo chilava nti. Nga vio limbi ya biganye no kwa kaya. Ati wala wana chiri mba chijia kwa fina fina kujia umi ya lia kuzeko. Ya lia limbieko. Ya lia tamudeko gebae, ya lia valizeko. Okule kanze. Okule kanze. Yes. Mm. Tiburi umi ya lia valizeko. 
So, uh, what duration do you have to do with Wix Maker? Bidi, Gamuchara Tari Waka Sitcher. Tari Waka. Gamuchara Wini Waka Tari Waka. Kati, now come on as Sangachi. Gwe wa mkwano gwe. Yes. Atenga mkwano gwe ya laga koke mabega ntino ye guanyiza bawe. Ye guanyiza bawe. Eee. Yes. Cheche gamba. Yese singa amazima gei tagisa. Kwa fa basa jochitaba. Nizo kujia juli. Nemba kwa nente saka nyetu kwa nanzi nawe. Na ye titi chijia wa mtino. Jaki ye mkazi wa angia. Eee. Mashite gina. Nizo kube ila nubu agazo wenja urojori. Hmm. Na hati wenzile waka nizo gamba, isimu eveko, ngezeko kwa elimineti ngachi, juli, mkazi wangi, mkazi wangi. Mm. So, mbili mwa mazima yagi watu yeta hagevi selevisi nga, amazima gata ambuzo mkwano. Mm. Na hati wali mbe nyo, nori mbe mwili yabili esatu, mm. batu kare wakulachi, ni waku guamu. So, ni waku guamu, ulusi chitu kese, ni chibela chibi nyo. No mulu ndi ogusu oka na go. Ushitegira. Kubanga. Nika tegu antike mulu ndi ogusu ose, yes. We can't know nti no ye mulu ndi ogusu ose, ransonga. Nti tatu tachita tachi, tachi, de mumu balua. Na ya gambali mbidua no ne trust ye we muwede ko. Mm. Ushitegira. Nti yobufumba hui nzo kube lao yesi ya limbo msajja. Nibasi galanga ba galana. Na yesi inga we baso oka. Ushitaba. Ushitaba. <coughs> Ushitaba. 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 Ush Ebi ntunga buwebi kwa tinga biyabi kumo ufumbo. Zepa gira nyo mtuwa kubela hapi. Hmm. Nuhu kule chindu echi kusanyusa. Hmm. Zepa ye chile chinsanyusa. Hmm. Echite gira. So, umuwala ndaba ye yeta de matiga kati saa za alilo. Ole ni tiyesi gachi? Mtuwa uyo. Ole ita mwesi ga? Nea hati bali mwala. Kasta trust ye kula chi? No! Banji baga ya baga tanu baga tanga tebe kula chi? Tebe siga ama abunga abunga baba labi abu gaga. Unda ina chino na ina chino. Unda ina chino. Echite gira. Na ye trust kasteva mtu. Omukua ntu guli daunga ya kukulachi. Oba kasteo kwa tako uh, lava obwa mkwa uh, yes, umuaga lwa umuchiku lacho nechi obo enzi. Mm -hmm. No chika kasa. It will never be the same. It's mm -hmm. either you get another person or really you try to forget which is not easy. Omukua ntu gumu mwanja utusobola. Tujia kutuja kuchera vila. Jotham picking it out. Magezi chigo inzo kuwa stela. Kwa kati, chino tuchira bintino, chinzo kubacha abadeo. Ya mkazi wali kutivya alaba kati, agala yuko ule lizori. Eee, kati na umchala alaba, chiche wandi badeo wa stela, mbobanga, mm. wago kwa atidwa, mchintuwe <coughs> chitu. Eda nga yu, yari ya kwa atidwa. Sagala, kugumile nyuli gamu ya mganda wana. Eda kwa sawa bigo verira. Nyo kwa di umchala. Na ye, nzi ndipo mwami wa Stella mti mm. kusawa na magezi gengi ndo kwa Stella gali mti obufumbo chinti chikuru ah, mgada wanga yue so nga jagambi mti ye chaya gali ukulaba e chimu sanyu sanga gwali na yemu sanyufu mm. chita gezi uli wa dembo kola chyo na chyo ulila chyo sobora oba kulimba mchara ukulaba anti mchi Asigala <laughs> Neka tukwene we gomba chino chendi, chino chendi, mkufune, mmaro kuto samudia, no sanga angate, ili nitu ya njawo. Chita geza angulimbe, mbye, no sanyuka, ni mkutu sa kuchichi nyali nkola chi, chinga li njagara. Magezi chige mpastela, njastela njagara mbuga ambanti, orugoye ulite kutedumo mara amunyo, ni wangkubadu umami, amulimbe, ichisoka, tamu kwa tanga kona mwala. Tewe sanga kumu chikolo. Ni wakubande bala mwa kwa agara. Kajanja ya singamu ya tede mwana. Ha, ah, ula singamu ya tede mwana. Ni singamu sana sinu mwana. Ha, ah, waka makala duka mwana duke la wakala. Chiche mwana. Ni wakazi mwana nyaka chiche. Hii. Kata hizo kunda wane kwa so, songa songa wade tonfako. Nesi mwenji kuwa toji kwa ata. Nga chibude kurugoi. Nguwe zifana gana. Lui nzo mm. kukalo lulu ya mbuli la lulinga genzo kwa anjo. Kwa sana ya rwanu denga rwaza neiba. Kwa chumani ni rolo yamba binangu mchara wanga alubi. Abina. Gwe, oh, gwe, yes. gwe ya mle ngweza neiba. 
since deception is the act of deceiving someone to some extent it's okay but the problem comes when it goes beyond cause when either couples get to know the truth about their lives since they begin that's where the war starts between them i'm simba nasib i like the way you dress <laughs> 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 Yes, we are going into messages. Dev. Dev is saying, what is the piece of clause number one? Secondly, being suspicious isn't good, but better needs handling the best way. You will never get the truth from the man, not until you get him in an in action. intellectual way. <laughs> Let her not even throw it to the man, but rather sit together and talk about it lovingly. Truly, she will get from the man. Trust me, Judy, my dear, friends need to get out feelings and handle the issue lovingly. Or maybe she might get wrong answers to deal with the situation. Remember, everyone has got their own trust, trash that needs better treatment. Love has got ups and downs. Learn how to manage it lovingly, not judgingly. However, deception aren't good in marriage because it's dangerous to weaker hearts to contain. Ata jaku dukuru go ilwa sanzo, obu sanzo urugo ilwa sanzo. Ata gende wo mulala, nga inaba taan vana. Kati Isaac wuna atweleza message agamba. Hey, thanks for the show. Deception. Deception in can break up marriages since it leads to amount, amounts of amounts to inter, misinter, misrepresentation. When everything is built on falsehood, falsehood chance are high for the union to collapse. The best approach to mitigate deception is to ensure that each partner furnishes true info about themselves and what happens in, in their lives to their spouses at all times. This cultivates conspiracy and consequently build trust between the two innocent souls. I'm Isaac. Isaac, thank you so much for the message. Hello, this is Joshua. Thanks for the show. Yes, you're welcome. 
Thank you so much for the messages. Uh, Keep uh, them coming. Uh, 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 to 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 Nabira chance for enough no msajyo mwana nafu. Anubala gewa, anubala gewa. Ante chukati mweche mwela na chomu buongo, mwela oza ntikuwa yeah. anubage ndebi ya mato ina jola go oloza wa mwela. Nenda, siwe chivela. Chance lands to those people that are really truthful, atenga ba ine mpisa. Kubanga wababa vude wana baso ulo gende wala. Na egu wakulese hatia. Oh, yu sabote muli imba bala latubot. Ogena bali imba, na wabu tebajwa kubela. And sometimes wala ba ya? Katonda ba ya ula, babi ya tibali made to be. Chenjaga wa kutegeze kecho. Katonda ba ya ula, babi ya tibali made to be. Ne mwa ukana. Kiliza, chiangi, mwa temuli veira. Ila katonda ba ya chukwala chi? Ava tibali ya chukwala chi? Tama mpwanza katonda temuli veira chi? Wamu. Let me tell you. Yes, I've ever been. Now listen, I've ever been inexperienced where by in tea. I'm quoting such in the first sense, in scenario, it's in a conezo, which take it up. But today, in Charlie, no moon to hang, which take it up. I went to me, I came to Jiba Kosa, was saving to me. Me, tell me, pass what I could be a banger, Denny. It actually took Kanibaku Tegera, Chukanibakumania, you get. But a moment to Nakumania. Now it's okay, Ibuang, Kumao, Mania, never done no vehicle. You want me to be? I say I can't do that. No, 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 Sit down. If you meant to be, it doesn't mean that you are going to be in the middle of the night. You are going to be in the middle of the night. You are no, what we do then, Gambanti or Rockwatchman in Timchala, what I know, Jaraga, if you be a more get up a chala, Mudibanji, Mudibanji. Tamukute. Asante kusante kusante no, you cannot explain to me the message. So, I swear, I'm a little to be equal to yourself when men um message you know josh na ye or what you want to answer for answer simanyi gambo tebitegeri kikato wandi sebulonji yes um 
Njaga nsumo yoka mese jikamu ze mtubawe akagamba akasemba yo haba mivende ese waneno. <laughs> really love topic anyway. This one was appreciating. Katona gambie. Okay, tuwa kwa yomu lama gwebo gwebo kwa atako. Eee, mkontro rumu wali yomu lama gwebo kwa atako. Okay, uwe chigamba chetisemba yo briefly. Ne Ibra gena tuwe chigamba chetisemba yo nga is advising Stella to komekeleze program. Stella have no uwa no. Kaina 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 asonga. Eee, kufi ba muna kujiyo kaya. Mubudu wanga, mubudu wanga. Kuchini wengene mara yu. Eee, ano jiyo mzanyo. Okay. Obwana kwa mbaga. Anya kuda wengene 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 so, we have a new 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 Tuyanza, tuyanza hivi. Anyway, Stella, you've heard it from these guys. Mm. Bae nzo kuwa vansinga kuzi ya married, married with two kids. He's also planning to have a wedding uh, pretty soon. I know, mwana, Shalifa. Mariliza show. Shalifa, Shalifa. Mwana, 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 Yes, Stella out there, and thank you so much for the letter, but they've told you please keep in your marriage. It is the only word they are giving you. Swallow everything that has happened, but keep in your marriage. Thank you so much for watching those that have sent messages. This is um, You'll see them on our second show that will be airing next week on Thursday. We have a replay of this very show on Sunday at midnight. Please keep it there. And we have a bulletin at the top of the hour with yeah. beautiful blessing. That Good is a record news. Mm -hmm. And um, for me and the guest in studio, but they're so crazy like Keeps nothing. To other people, I see. Well, 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 I see. Hindu Asha, I could take it in the best of Hindu Asha charity concert. Jump 